Hi everyone, happy 2024. I hope you've all had the best Christmas and New Year and I'm really excited to be back filming another video. I'm filming something a bit different, that's not my typical style, but I've been absolutely loving watching other creators that I love to watch make these kinds of videos. Um, this morning I've been watching Shannon Mooney's and I've seen a couple of others as well over the Christmas period and I just love the idea of these videos. So I thought I'd make one for myself and after Vlogmas I feel like I've really gotten into making YouTube videos and I just absolutely love it and I've been so so excited to get back filming videos so I wanted to get straight back on it today and film another but I am filming a weekly vlog this week where we're going to have a huge catch up, we're going to have a reset, we're going to go into the new year and into January together feeling really productive and all that kind of thing but this is just a completely different video that I just as I say really wanted to film so I'm going to go through my 2023 favourites, I've got a bit of everything in here, I've got like home, skin, makeup, hair, um, I've got a few clothes bits, clothes bits as well, just a mixture of everything that I've basically absolutely loved over the last year in 2023 and I'll probably be using into 2024 as well but I thought before we move into the new year and get going with January I wanted to just have a little bit of a look back on the last year and as I say just share some of my favourite things that I've absolutely loved all the way from the beginning of the year all the way to the end so Let's just get straight into it. I think we're going to start on home because home is my thing. I love a bit of home wear. Um, I think out of all of this, it's probably like, just home is where it's at for me. I just absolutely have love homey bits. So the first thing that I've put, I've got like a little, I've literally gone around the house and collected everything in a box. So I've got just a pile of stuff here. But the first thing that I wanted to, to include was my Neon Wellbeing pod. Now I got this a couple of months ago, a few months ago, so I can't say it's something that I've used all of 2023, but I have absolutely loved it for the time that I've had it and the time that I've used it. I put it on when I'm in the bath, I put it on on my bedside table when I'm chilling in bed. It is the perfect thing to set the scene when you want to feel really cosy or you want to feel like you're in a spa, you want it to smell nice but maybe you don't want to light a candle, I don't know. There's a couple of reasons why I've not been lighting candles. One of them I've spoken about a lot, which is Lola. She gets a really irritated throat from like fumes and stuff like that. And I know this is obviously still vapour and stuff, but I feel like this is a lot less harmful than smoke from a candle. And you can, you can use this without putting in any of the drops as well. So basically you fill it up, if you're not familiar with these, you take this off. This is like ceramic as well, which is why I absolutely love this neon one. I feel like this one compared to a lot of other ones that I've seen. My mum's got one and it does the job fine, but it's like a plastic thing like this on the outside. But I just feel like this one is so much more like luxe and it just feels so nice sat on your table when you're not using it. It's just like really aesthetic. So it's like a proper ceramic um, lid that goes over the top and then this part you just fill with fresh water and put a few drops of an essential oil in this is the one that I have been absolutely loving it's the cozy nights by neon and you put about five or six drops in there and then or you could just have it water sometimes when I'm in bed and I just want it to be sort of like chilled out I just don't put any drops in there and just leave it as steam and then you switch it on and it lights up it's the coziest most ambient thing ever especially in a really dark room or the bathroom when i'm running myself a bath and i want some light in there because i turn the main light off i'll have this on and maybe like a candle at the end of my bath and it's just the perfect thing for like spa cozy kind of set up situation i just absolutely love this and they've actually got loads of designs on their website i've seen one that i really like the look of it's like a tortoise shell so it's like glass with like black speckles and i absolutely love the look of that one so yeah for home number one has been my neon wellbeing pod and obviously the oil that i've been putting with it is the cozy nights essential oil and it smells incredible it's like a really fresh it's like a cozy scent but it's really fresh it's like a cozy spa I always describe it like 
Then second, kind of going along with that one, as I've mentioned, we don't, we haven't really been lighting candles as much as I'm used to having Lola here, just because obviously, as I say, she gets an irritated throat and it makes her quite poorly. So I have been opting for artificial candles and I've tried a few out, I have to say, but the ones that I always, always go back to are the Lights for Fun one. And this one, I think it's just a white company dupe. I absolutely love it and it's battery operated so it literally has a switch on the bottom you put it on and I don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera but when it's like dark in the room the flames the flames flicker and it looks really realistic so we'll have these like on our tv unit this one actually lives on our kitchen table so of an evening when it's getting dark outside we've got like the under the unit lights on and I'll stick this on and it's just again cozy vibes and I just love the like dried fruit and the cinnamon i've loved this around christmas time but i feel like this is like an autumn winter all rounder i feel like you could just leave this out which is what we do um but yeah white company dupe not real flames so even if you've got like a cat that likes to climb on to the surfaces and you don't trust like lighting a candle or something like that or you've got like young children around and you're nervous about having like a naked flame on a candle i just feel like these are so handy and you can get really realistic ones now because i'm so used to having candles around not even just for the smell of them but for the ambience and the lighting like i never have big lights on like if you're in my house obviously i've got them on now because i'm filming but if you ever come to my house i will never have the big lights on it'll always be like lamps candles when i can have them on obviously all my fake candles fairy lights my neon well-being pod like i love to just create like that cozy like atmosphere rather than just having the big light on so lighting for me is so important so these artificial candles these ones as i say are from lights for fun and they have oh my god lights for fun is probably one of my favorite homeware shops especially for like seasonal decor or lighting obviously um we've got like so many autumn and christmasy bits for around the house from there and i absolutely love that company so yeah this is for lights from lights for fun also i didn't mention it is real wax i don't know if that goes without saying um, but it is a real wax candle, so absolutely love. And then I popped these two in my little homeware section for 2023. I have absolutely loved using these products. I was kindly sent these by a beautiful company, um, and it's Norfolk Natural Living, the company. But this is a hand wash, and then I've also got the matching multi purpose spray and i wish you could smell this through the camera because honestly it is the most delicious smelling hand wash it's perfect for a bathroom i always feel like bathroom vibes are like fresh coastal do you know what i mean like i love like a eucalyptus ud type fresh again i love the word spa type vibe in the bathroom i don't know why like driftwood you know that kind of thing like a winter beach kind of setup and this i've had so many compliments since putting this in our downstairs toilet honestly it just smells so fresh and clean it's got like an aftershave sort of scent in there as well but it says here our, botan our botanical hand wash is formulated using the finest ingredients designed to gent gently cleanse even the most sensitive hands only natural extracts crafted in our workshop in Norfolk sorry I thought someone was knocking on my door there and that freaked me out a bit um after a long day in the garden this wash gently cleanses my hands without drying them out so that's just like a little I was trying to read like the notes of what the scent is oh here we go inspired by the crisp sea air of Norfolk's bracing coastline our natural hand wash is gentle is gentle even on the most sensitive skin again that's not what I was looking for I don't know what I'm trying to read here I don't know. I think the scent is called coastal. Basically, fresh coastal oud type vibe, I want to say. But I also love the packaging. Like, usually when I get a hand soap like this, I will decant it into our ceramic pumps. But this went so beautifully with our bathroom anyway. I was like, I'm just keeping it in that because I absolutely love the packaging. So I've literally just put it as it is in our bathroom. We did actually have a room spray from them as well. I don't use that too much, I have to say, because I think I just don't spend much time in our downstairs loo, but I have just put it on the side. So if anyone wants to have a spray when they're in there, then they can. Um, but this I've also loved as well on the dining table and the kitchen side it just smells incredible and I love the thought that it's all natural and handmade as well and there's not like nasty chemicals and stuff in there because I always find I love 
I use Sephora all the time. You know I do. If you've watched my videos, you'll know I use Sephora all the time. But I do think sometimes, like, the chemicals and stuff in there are quite harsh and it is quite intense. So I do like the thought of using something that's a bit more natural, less, less harsh, less chemicals, that kind of thing, and smells incredible. And then the last thing that is in the little homeware, the little home section that I've created for my 2023 is a water filter i don't know if this is going to be a bit of a boring one to some people but i do get a lot of comments about it on my tiktok and it's something that we use daily we have done pretty much all year i think we got this right at the start of 2023 so this has been something that has been constant throughout our year and that is our it does need a good deep clean i think it needs to go in the dishwasher to be honest because it's got a bit of lime scale on the top but it is our fox water filter so it's spelled p h o x so fox and it's basically a sustainable water filter we did have a brita but if you've ever used a brita if you have a brita you'll know the filters are plastic and you throw them throw them away i think it's like every six weeks or every four weeks or something like that so it was a huge amount of plastic and i didn't really like this is going to sound a bit shallow but i didn't really like the look of our um, of our brita water filter because it was plastic it just didn't look very nice this one this part is glass i just love the look of it it's nice and black it goes with everything in our kitchen and the filters that you put in here are completely sustainable so um you take the plastic it is made of plastic but you reuse it and you put the granules in so you keep the filter you don't throw the plastic filter away and you get sent this as like a subscription i think it's monthly or every six weeks or something um but you literally just empty out the filter with the filtered granules whatever they're called you put the new ones in and then that's it and it just filters the water and i'm a bit of a water snob i won't just drink tap water straight from the tap i don't really like the taste of it i feel like i've got really sensitive taste buds and i can taste like the chemicals and the other things that are in tap water and i've just got used to filtered water so we literally use that all the time it's always filled up it's always in our fridge whenever i fill my water bottle up any water that we drink basically goes without saying probably we use that fox filter and i just wouldn't go back now i absolutely love it and i also love the thought that we're not using so much plastic all the time so definitely one to check out if you like your um filtered water or you've got a Brita and you're looking for something else I love that I literally wouldn't be without it so that is definitely up there with one of the top favorites in our house for 2023 um next let's go on to clothes because I think if you watch my videos you'll know by now comfies are my thing pjs are my thing I'm not really like a dressy dressy person so you won't be surprised to know that pretty much everything in this pile everything in this pile is comfies I've got some basics that i live in i work from home so i literally live in my comfies my stretchy like athleisure type vibe is the thing that i will go for most days and i picked up some of these little t-shirts from tala and i've also got um i haven't put them in my pile but they would also be top of my list as well i've got some i think they're in the wash that's why i've not picked them up but i also got some flares from tala i can't remember the name of them i will try and leave links to all of these products i'm talking about um but it was the first sort of order that i placed with tala this these stretchy tops and the flared leggings and i also got the matching top to the flared leggings and I am just obsessed with their stuff. I'm obsessed with the quality, the fit. It makes me feel so snatched and make me feel like I have been lifting weights at the gym seven days a week, feel so toned. And like, I just feel like it changes the silhouette of my body. I don't know if anyone else who's, who's worn Tala feel the same, but I just feel so like sucked in in their stuff. I absolutely love it. So I got this t-shirt in the black and the grey I believe but I love like a marl grey and it's like a, um, it is like a, I've just got, I've got tan on my mind I've just noticed so sorry if you got a glimpse of that but they're like really stretchy, really comfy, as I say they cinch me in, these are perfect to just throw on with some leggings underneath the hoodie or something like that, I'm looking forward to wearing them in the summer just with like maybe some cycling shorts or some leggings but they're just like a perfect basic for day to day and then i obviously as i said love tala leggings and the tala flared yoga pants i also love my again didn't put them in this pile just because they're in the wash but i also have a pair of adenola yoga pants they're the fold over waist ribbed cotton 
yoga pants I think they're called but I absolutely live in those whether I'm like chilling at home working from home for the day or whether I'm going out and I'll put them with my they fit really nicely with my Uggs I think so I'll often put them on instead of leggings I'll put those on with my Uggs and like a big knitted jumper so I'll replace leggings with them I just I just love the fit of them I feel like they're a little bit of a step up from leggings sometimes when I wear leggings I don't know I just feel like I don't know I don't think they're like dressier but I just I just sometimes feel a little bit more put together when I put my yoga pants on rather than my leggings I don't know why but I just love them they're so comfy as well and then another absolute go-to for basics is a brand called mesh key I think they're Australian I want to say it did take a while for my order to come but mesh key for basics again an absolute go-to the material i wish you could feel this material like buttery soft doesn't even cut it like honestly the softest thing i've ever put on my body and they are perfect for like long long sleeve basics so i've got a white one and i've also got a, ba a black one and i've got um like a black bodysuit that does up at the bottom and it's got like a scooped back which I really like for like if I'm trying to be a little bit dressier I'll put that on with maybe like some jeans or something like that but it just kind of elevates a basic outfit with the scooped back I think and it fits me so nicely the fabric I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's got sort of like a sheen to it and I just absolutely love mesh key for basics so if you're looking for like some plain basic good quality tops that will last you and have really good quality fabric i would definitely have a look at my because i absolutely love their basics they do quite nice clothes there as well um but i do just tend to stick to the basics when i order from Meshki. last but not least again if you've been watching my videos i don't think it will come as a surprise to you that these are in my pile but the primark pajamas that everyone went absolutely mad for and i knew they would as soon as i saw these i was just like i'm getting myself i got them in two colors because i was like they are going to fly off the shelves and they did and i've seen everyone on tiktok wearing them and completely understand why because they are the best pajamas i have ever ever put on my body and i pride myself on my pajama collection i think i have probably twice as many pajamas as I do actual clothes, my pyjama drawer is literally bursting at the seam. So for me to say that these are the best pyjamas I've ever worn is a big statement. They are the, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're like the, the Le, um, like button up pyjamas that Primark bought out. I got them in this gorgeous like oyster creamy colour and I also picked up the chocolate brown because I just knew I was going to love them as much as I do. And... I think they were actually £14 for the top and £14 for the bottom, which for Primark I think is a bit steep, but I feel like the quality sort of correlates with the price of these 100%. Like I've got Bo Avenue pyjamas and stuff like that, and even they haven't lasted as, as nicely as these have because I wear these, I alternate between these and the brown ones pretty much every single night. So you can imagine how many times I'm washing them a week and the fabric still feels exactly the same from when I first bought them. So... These are definitely up there with my face. I also like the detailing, like they're, they're piped on the leg as well, which I think is a nice little touch. I don't know, I just absolutely love these pyjamas. Haven't took them off since I bought them and it would be wrong if they weren't in my 2023 pile because I have absolutely lived from them, lived in them from the minute that I bought them. Okay, so the next pile, I'm just gonna combine hair, skin and makeup because there isn't too much left now. The main bulk of this, again, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I am a skincare girly and I uh, I have had, sorry, I can't speak this morning. I feel like I'm tripping up on all my words, but I've had um, a really long journey with my acne and I've only just sort of got to the point, I've got a little bit of makeup on today. Oh, my lip liner looks wild. Um, but I've had a bit of a, yeah a bit of a journey with my acne and I'm only just getting to the point where my skin has cleared up and I have to put it down to the skincare routine that I have been following I've gone to a clinic who have like um sold me these products and have advised me and um sort of guided me along my way which is why my skin is clear the way it is now I am on tretinoin I've spoken about that before that's a long journey in itself but and you also have to be prescribed that so I didn't want to include that in this because that's sort of like a, pres a prescribed skincare you can't really just go online and buy it you have to be prescribed it from a derm or an aesthetic clinic so I've left that out but obviously that's had a huge impact on my skin as well 
but the products I've been using in conjunction with my tretinoin are the I never ever know how to say this the lady at the clinic actually even corrected me and said this is how you say it and I still can't remember how I'm meant to say it but it's obagi obagi it's definitely not obagi I think it's obagi or obagi if you're screaming at the screen now and you know how to pronounce it I'm really sorry that I just keep getting that wrong but this is the face wash that I use day and night. It's got salicylic acid in it. It's really, really strong. So if you don't suffer with acne, I don't think this would be for you. But if you're struggling with breakouts, I had really, really bad. If you haven't heard my acne story before, I had really, really bad cystic hormonal acne all around my chin. Like my whole chin was just one big spot basically. Um, and nothing was working. Nothing was touching the sides. I'd used all the drugstore skincare that you can think of and that's when I kind of stepped it up and went to see someone about it but this is really strong effective medical grade skincare I don't know if this is medical grade actually um but this is just really strong effective skincare if you've got acne if nothing's working for you I would definitely have a look at this you can buy this online you don't have to be prescribed these products um so I definitely try them out I use this as I say day and night and I absolutely love it so that's like a gel cleanser so I'll cleanse my face with that first and then secondly again morning and night which will be too strong for some people my skin is just so oily and so congested that it's taken this really well but this is just like a pump that I put onto cotton wool and wipe over my face effectively use it like a toner I don't think it is a toner it's like a salicylic acid pore cleaning solution type thing I've never ever 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 use a product that's made my skin feel the way that this product's product makes my skin feel it makes it feel so fresh and clean it almost feels cold when I've wiped this over my face with a cotton pad because it's so clean and it feels like my pores have just had a really really deep clean and it's gotten it's gotten down to all the places that like other products just can't reach um yeah so this is the pore therapy again as I said I use this after my cleanser I'll use this and then I'll carry on with my skincare so two products if you're struggling with spots breakouts acne would definitely go and have a look at a baggy I was gonna say a baggy it's not a baggy you know what I mean that's how you spell it um, they have loads of different products so again products that have just been my absolute saviours for 2023 and I will carry on using those products they are quite quite pricey um, but I don't think you can put a price on good skin if you've dealt with acne if you've dealt with breakouts you know exactly what I mean when I say that I would literally skint myself to have clear skin so I will always always be buying those products Another couple of products from my skincare routine that I love. This is really affordable and you can buy it from Boots and I absolutely love it. I go back and buy it every single time. I did actually stray away from this and try another moisturiser from a different brand. And it broke me out in the first few days of using it. So I will never ever stray away from this one now. And it's the Bioma Moisturising Gel Cream. Absolutely love like a lightweight gel. I've got really, as I said, oily, congested skin. So anything that's like a heavy cream, I don't like the feeling of it anyway on my skin because it kind of freaks me out because I feel like it's soaking in and blocking up my pores. But this is so lightweight. Once you've put it on, it just sinks in so nicely and it gives you like a really nice, dewy, fresh look as well. I think it's about £9. As I say, you can buy it from Boots and I just absolutely love it. It's also really good for your skin barrier as well. So if you are using like harsh acne products, it's a great one to use alongside it because it gives your skin the things it needs to stay healthy and hydrated. And then the last thing from my skincare collection is the Inculist Polyglutamic SPF 30. I absolutely love this product so much. I bought a really, really expensive um spf from the clinic that i was actually going to i think it was actually no baggy no baggy whatever you want to say <laughs> spf but I, I really didn't like it it didn't get on with my skin very well it left a really thick white cast and like even hours after i'd applied it you just see it just sat on my skin even though i rubbed it in really well this is the complete opposite it's like a really nice liquidy runny consistency and it just melts onto your face it's also a really good 
primer so it's like a two-in-one and it does say here hydrates primes and protects so i feel like this is a two-in-one i don't use primers because they break me out they they clog my pores and they break me out so this is perfect for me when i've got where i'm wet when i am wearing makeup when i'm not wearing makeup it makes your skin so dewy and hydrated and plump and i love that like juicy skincare look that you look like you've just got really plump hydrated juicy skincare on do you know what i mean even when you don't have makeup on so this would definitely definitely be up there with one of my faves this year i've used it every single day even when it's cloudy outside you need to spf on so i slather this on and i actually go to a clinic as i've said about my acne and they do like a skin scan so every time i go for a checkup they'll put my head in this like machine it's like a dome and you put your head in and it takes loads of images of your face and then they get it up on their ipad and it has different settings so it has like um i don't know like oil um oil like areas of oil so it will like show you where you have the most oil it will have like uv damage that is really scary seeing that you you can literally see like the damage that has been done on your skin from uv um you have like redness just different settings that shows shows it and on the uv one they can see like the coverage of your spf and she was like oh my god like i don't think i've ever seen uv coverage that well and that evenly distributed that well covered and i think it's all down to this like honestly holy grail product absolutely love it and it's so important to wear your spf if you don't want to get wrinkly and you want to look after your skin so i would definitely recommend that and it's really affordable as well i absolutely love inky list products for like affordable skincare and then i'm not really a makeup girl i don't really like wearing makeup i know i've got a little bit on today but I don't really like the feeling of it on my skin. I think it comes from a place of obviously struggling with my skin. I've got it in my head that makeup equals spots. So I'm trying to sort of get out of that because I know that's not the case. Um, and it's nice to sometimes put your makeup on and feel a bit put together, you know. I, I think especially working from home, I've gotten like stuck into that rut of just getting up, putting my comfies on, scraping my hair back, not really making any effort with my appearance. But I feel like sometimes it does just make you feel that little bit more put together and ready for the day. So um, one of my little New Year's resolutions is trying to like make a little bit more effort with my appearance when I can. And one of the products that has got me through and has made me put makeup on is this iconic London skin tint. It's the Super Smoother, what is it? Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint from Iconic London. And I'm not a foundation person. I don't like the feeling of foundation on my skin. I also don't like the way it looks regardless. Like if I have any breakouts or even like under my eyes, it goes all crusty and I just don't like it. I don't like it. So I'd always opt for something like this and it's just like a second skin. Like it blurs onto your skin and it's also buildable. So on the areas where I've got like um, scarring from my acne or like my under eyes and things like that, you can put a thin layer all over your face and then you can build it up on the areas where you just want that little bit more coverage. So you've not got like two layers over your whole face, if that makes sense, which I think helps with that like cakey heavy feeling so yeah i absolutely love this i'd carry on buying this product because if you're like me and you don't really like wearing lots of makeup and you just want something that like evens out your complexion because if i just go in with concealer it just looks like patchwork over my face i think it's because i don't buy the right color of concealer for my face to be honest but if you want to just even your face out that is perfect and then lastly, I've got a couple of little things for hair. When I was thinking about products for my hair, there was only one product really that stood out. I have used so many different hair care products and I have like some of them, like I'll use different hair masks, different treatments. I'm using um, a shampoo and conditioner that I absolutely love at the moment, but I haven't been using it for long enough really to give it an honest opinion and include it in my 2023 favorites just because obviously i don't think it's been long enough to test it out if that makes sense i think it takes a while to really test a shampoo and conditioner so i don't think it was right to include that those in here but the one hair care product that stands out to me is the coco and eve miracle hair elixir this honestly i feel like has transformed the health of my hair i honestly feel like it's down to this product my hair is the longest if i like pull my hair all the way down definitely past the nip it's like even past the boob it's all the way down here and 
I just feel like that's the longest my hair has been in such a long time. And it's not only the longest it's been, I just feel like it's the healthiest it's been. It needs a wash, to be honest. So it's probably not looking that healthy at the moment. But I feel like this has just been all down to this product, to be totally honest with you. Again, I started using this product at the beginning of this year. So I feel like it's really sort of had that time to work on my hair. And I can confidently sit here and say that it is down to this product because it's just an all-in-one. Like, it honestly ticks all the boxes. It's a heat protectant. It detangles your hair. So if you've got bleach in your hair like me, when you get out of the shower, I don't know if anyone else struggles with this. I think it is a bleach thing. I have to take forever to brush my hair out and all the knots. It gets, like, really matted and tangled. And this, if I massage this into my hair before brushing it out, it just makes it so much easier. I think it really helps with, like, breakage and snapping on the ends as well. And I also use this product as, like, a smoothing product so if I wake up and my hair is feeling a bit frizzy or it needs a wash and it's a bit all over the place I'll use dry shampoo and then to like tame all the flyaways and to just make it look a lot silkier and shinier like it's just had a wash I'll smooth over a little bit of this in the end honestly it's just an all-round product like I could sit and talk about this product for ages um but it says on the back a styling serum hydrating care and heat protector all in one styling finish to add instant shine, silkiness and frizz control. Hydration, hydrating hair, I can't read this morning either. Hydrating hair care infused with a tropical blend of coconut oil, papaya and prickly pear plus hyaluronic acid for soft and shiny hair and it provides heat protection up to 20, 220 degrees, which is incredible. So absolutely love this product. I think Coco and Eve products are quite pricey. But this is the same bottle of this product that I've used all year. So I haven't had to buy another one all year. You need the tiniest amount. And it's like a thick, it's almost like a gel. So you literally need like a pea size to do your whole head of hair. So it definitely lasts a long time and is 1000% worth the investment. If you're going into 2024 and you're looking after your hair more this year, you want it to grow, you want it to be healthier, especially if you colour your hair and things like that, which I do. I think it's so important to invest in good quality products and this I can literally vouch for and say it's changed my hair and I'm just obsessed with it absolutely love it definitely the only hair care product that I can hand on heart say has been my absolute favorite all of 2023 and then the last one I don't really know if this counts to be honest I feel like with it goes without saying these days but a claw grip specifically this one from Primark I did also have one from Boots I lost it or I broke it I can't find it anywhere but I have I don't have thick hair but I have quite a lot of hair so when I'm twisting my hair up into a claw grip it's really hard for a grip to like grip my hair and then grip it to my head if that makes sense like it always grips the hair but doesn't attach to the top so it'll just sort of like fall down if that makes any sense these ones are just perfect it came in a multi pack there was a brown one with it and then i love this nude one i feel like the nude one's easier to wear day to day but i absolutely live in a claw grip if i haven't got my hair down i've got my alice bands in at the moment because obviously we've got the fringe scenario going on which just pretending that it's not happening to be honest and i'm just scraping the fringe out of my face until it's grown back but i would always have my hair in a claw grip i think it helps the health of my hair because I was putting my hair up in like a bun or like a ponytail, but I just feel like it really pulls and tugs on my hair. This, I feel like you don't get that. And obviously you're not putting heat on your hair. I work from home, obviously, as I've said. So I try not to style my hair every day with heat and I will literally just scrape it up into a claw grip. And I think that has helped the length and the health of my hair this year, like you wouldn't believe. So a claw grip just had to be in my hair care selection for 2023 because my hair has been in this pretty much the whole of the year i absolutely love claw grip so yeah that is pretty much everything rounded up a little bit of everything in there i hope this video hasn't been too boring for you but i absolutely love watching these videos of other people especially like this time of year because i know it's a bit cliche but i always go into the new year sort of like looking to have a bit of a refresh of maybe my products like around the house or even like my skincare and my hair care so i feel like it's just a really nice video to sit and watch but thank you so much if you have watched to the end of the video as i said i've got like a weekly vlog coming up where i'm actually starting filming that today so i'm filming two in one that's how much i'm loving youtube at the moment but we're gonna have like a good weekly catch up we're going to start the new year right together and i'm really excited to spend that with you but yeah as i say thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one